Hello and welcome back. I'm Krakenfall. Today we are playing Raccoon. Last episode we made a ton of progress. I figured out where to go. I got out of the hospital and my mom is apparently like a spirit guide because she had like the key and the lock for the spirit world and she she went with me in. We met all the labels which are like my guess is spirit representations of people in the hospital. We got all the way. We helped the sapling and make its feet happy. It's a beautiful tree. <laughs> We got all the way to talk to Morizora. Morizora, that's where we stopped. So let's continue. Hopefully we can figure out how to wake Morizora up and uh, get that wish. I hope the boy wishes for his cancer to be healed. Because <sighs> he's a little treasure. Actually, all the everyone in the hospital are like troopers, except for Tony. He's just angry. So let's, let's check it out. So I got my mom with me. Let's talk to mom. How are you? I, knew th I know you think that math is boring, but if you look at math problems as puzzles, it becomes more fun. That's a really good pointer. When I was a little girl, I used to do this, and suddenly math homework became like a game. Pro tip, Mom. I like math. I don't always like math. Oh, but I do like math. Wait, uh, did I go everywhere? in the drained lake. Huh. Let's go back to the village. I remember the blacksmith said that they'd make me tools and I need tools to get through uh, the blocked doors in the hospital, I bet. Cave bud. The other buds tell me that you went to see Morizora. I wonder when he's going to wake up again. I miss him. Me too, bud. Hey guys, don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> if we can take the axe into the hospital, or, like smash through the door like The Shining. Oh wait, this is Sue's, Sue's house. Where's the blacksmith again? Oh, here it is. Oh, hey guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Just southeast, okay. So I need to go south first. Can I actually use the well? Oh, I can go down! Ah, oh, that's Pog. Alright. Good to know. Did you guys really go through Morizora's cave? I'm scared of the envoy. I don't dare go in their territory. Yeah, we did it. It's nothing. Um, camphor sticks? Or, what was it? Camphor oil and night sticks? Oh. I need to go to the right. I wonder if the tree is camper. No. Oh. You two back again? You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? We just went through Morizora's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him when after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh really? Well why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Thanks, Mr. Sign. What was that? <clears throat> nightstone, okay. Camphor sticks and nightstone. And sea berries. You'll need something to carry this before you can catch it. Uh, the leaves? Catch the leaves? Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month, and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers, but they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. Aww. Stereotypes suck sometimes. Here we go. 
camphor sticks. Minimori, 16. Hi, I'm Minimori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know that what... What, do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. I have cousins all over the forest, and they're all very interesting. Cousin 12, for example, is going to school to become a doctor. Cousin 3 is a good fortune tale teller. What's that? It means she can tell your fortune based on what kind of food you like. I like beans. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Minimori. Or miss. Uh, what do you want? Smug onion. And what reason do you have to be smug? You live in a high class part of neighborhood. Do you like the smell of your own farts, Mr. Onion? Maybe you're the smelly onion. Alright, is this the last one or. I need to get them all. The camphor sticks. Hey, bud. The Leebles use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff, except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in this guy's box, he's standing right there, don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know it's tough at first, letting go of your possessions, but once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Cool. 20G, that's a lot. I think I have like 75 now. Secrets. No secrets. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Alright, well, I assume we have enough for the tool. <clears throat> Mr. Smug Onion. This music is pretty good. Huh, the cancer ward looks different today, huh? Uh, wow, <laughs> I was narrating. I was narrating your comment, No Face. Hey, No Face, how's it going? Cancel Ward looks different? Yes. Um, uh, my mom got to the hospital, thankfully. Um, she got through traffic, but uh, we found out she's kind of a spirit guide, and she led me into the spirit world, uh, in which I am now talking to all the spirit, what I think are spirit representations of all the people in the hospital. So, it's pretty interesting. Ah, I see you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down. Feel free to take what you find inside. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? <laughs> that's a good question, blacksmith. Or that's a good answer, blacksmith. You found a cat's eye marble. Hey, you for Sue. What is the cat's eye marble doing in the spirit world? Wait, can I cut down the bamboo in, inside? No. That would be kind of a mean thing to do anyway. Does that mean I get to keep the bamboo? It does! I wonder what I can use it for. You found 10G. Wait, did these grow back? I thought I picked the berries already. Um... Oh wait. I don't have anything for the rocks. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. You really love cabbage, don't you? Cute avatar guy. My cabbages! Now, do I get in trouble for destroying the ecosystem if I cut down all the bamboo? Oh, is that Sue's label? Where's my friend gone? I can't sleep until I find her. Sue's really sad. 
<laughs> I want to help Sue. <clears throat> um, I must need to drain that, huh? Sue! Oh, hi. Tell me about your friend. Oh, she's the best. She was the only one who'd listen to me. She was such a good listener. I could tell her all my secrets because I knew she'd never tell anyone else. And she loved me no matter what, even though I was poor and didn't have cool toys or games. Even though I didn't have any other friends, she still loved me. Is Sue's friend a dog? I'm trying to remember where I was. Uh, where I was supposed to meet my friend. I have to find her. She needs me. Oh, hi. What kind of stuff did you do? Oh, we had so many adventures together, and we played lots of games, too. Ones I, uh, ones I didn't get to play before. My dad promised he would play catch with me, but he left, and we never got to do that together. But my friend loved playing catch. So we'd go to the park and play catch until the sun went down. Yeah, it sounded like Sue's friend is, is a pet. been to the midnight tea shop they have wonderful tea a, a nice hangyojin hangyojin a couple west of the water palace runs it west okay um i've already been down here haven't i although there was bamboo down here wasn't there Check it out. Oh, there's a, a chest there. Oh, Hobbs is here. <laughs> he's he's a, he's in a mood. What are you doing, Hobbs? Don't look at me like that. And he's gone. Well, I enjoyed it while it lasted. I guess I could put the cat cam on Gunther. Oh wait, that was a rock to the right with a smug onion. So there's probably nothing, nope, nothing else down here. All right, let's go to Morizora's cave, I think. There's bamboo, plenty of bamboo there, right? I, actually, I probably should go talk to everyone in the village. Every year, at Star Night, there is a Sila Berry Pancake Eating Contest. And every year I win. I don't think there's anyone in the coast, on this coast who can eat more Sila Berries than me. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, is Sue in here? Oh wait, this isn't Sue, this is Cora. Welcome to my art store! What's up? I love hanging having my own art store. It allows me to be creative for a living. Uh, you look stressed out. Don't get me wrong, I love making paper lanterns for the Star Night Festival. It's just, a, it's just that I'm running behind and I'm afraid I won't finish them in time. Do you think you could help me gather materials for me to make lanterns? I need five reeds for the paper and six fireflies for the light. Fireflies for the light. Sure, I'll help. Oh, that's wonderful, thank you so much. The reeds look like ones I have in the vase down there and they grow around water. Catching the fireflies might be a bit tricky. I usually get a jar from Panky's assistant to catch them with. This is going to be the best and most beautiful star night ever. Sounds good. I think I have two reeds already. Yeah. And then uh, Panky's assistant's gonna be over here in the, 
birthday cake area, or the cupcake area. I got the bug, the travel bug. I can't sit still, I'm so restless. I want to travel the world. I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Where would you go? I think the question is, where wouldn't I go? Yeah, that's fair. Welcome to Banky's Bakery. Because of Star Knight, we, we don't have a lot right now. But I think we might still have some royal jelly. Oh, I'd like a jar. You received a jelly jar. Cool. Uh, welcome to Panky's Bakery. Okay. And Panky's running around. I won't bother him. I heard that she helped the blacksmith get his tools back. If you're going to be around, you should come to our big Star Night celebration. Uh, do you need help pre preparing? Now that you mention it, we had a big storm last week, which might make it tough to organize everything in time. You might want to ask around to see if any of the villagers need help. Sounds good. Uh, have you been to the other side of the forest? There's a hot springs there and a, and a tea shop run by fish people. Oh. Uh, Tony keeps destroying something. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. That's funny. That sounds familiar. Welcome to Lebel Inn. Would you like to sleep here? No thanks. Uh, save the game. Recently the river water levels were getting dangerously low. So the great water dragon, Stormy, moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. Oh, that's cool. Dragon moved here. We care a lot about our village. I'm trying to do my part by cleaning up before the big Star Knight celebration. Cool. Uh, oh! Honey bamboo right here. You want to do this so bad, but you... But I feel bad? Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be an impression, isn't it, Brady? Hey kiddo, welcome to my store. What's up? Lately I've been thinking about getting a fifth cat. My husband isn't too keen on the idea, but he'll warm up to it with time. Uh... Yeah, okay, so we've, we've read this. What's for sale? Nothing at the moment. I'm still getting things in order after the storm. But I might have some stuff later on. Okay. No change there. Unlike other Leebles, I'm not afraid of the Envoy at all. But I still wouldn't go into Morizora's cave by myself. Okay, so... Maybe the Restless dude... Needs help? Hey! 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 Morizora's forest has lots of different kinds of spirits wandering around. Some of them are nice, but you still have to watch out for the angry ones. Cool. How did I know? We share this forest with the Envoy. Winston told me that you can tell when Envoy spirits pass through because it gets really cold. Here we go. This better be worth it, coming back all the way back in here. You found 25G, that's a lot. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there, Brady. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, how much money I have. Oh, 145, it's right there. Cool. Wait, why the music change? This is what I came here for. I couldn't remember, but I knew there was a bunch of bamboo stuff. A golem child doll. 25G. Well, that's interesting. What do I do with a golem child doll? Where do I find reeds? And what else was it? 
Six fireflies. Oh, and I have a jar. So where are the the fireflies again? They're not in Morazora's cave, right? Did I did I literally just go past them? Can you help a little? Sure. No spoilers, of course. But I don't mind. Okay, here we go. Do I just press space on it? Got it. Okay, there's two. Oh, what's that? Anything down here? Or is this just a dead end? Yep, dead end. Uh, that you just realized that was an emote you used to play this on your Xbox 360 as a kid. That is Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy is an excellent game. Good stuff. I wonder if I need to wait. I wonder if I need to wait until the Starry Nights um, festival to get more fireflies. Or maybe I just come back later. Okay, whenever you feel stuck, just go back to the hospital or Morizora's forest. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Because I need reeds, and I definitely picked the two that were already here. Oh wait, where's the hospital? That's in the inn, right? There's a door in the inn? No, I need the fireflies for the festival. Got it. Okay, thank you. Alright, back to the hospital we go. Uh, compared to Morizora's forest, this looks so, like, bland and gray. <sighs> I'm very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a comatose woman? These are indeed desperate times. We will do all we can to try and find out who stole this from her. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now, so this means a lot. Of course. And if you could spare some extra blankets, it would be very appreciated. I know they're boarded up the hole. I know they've boarded up the hole inside the bathroom wall, but there's still a very chilling wind coming through. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. We'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on Gemma. In the meantime, please keep, take care. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. I really need to make sure this gets finished. I'll come by your room later to check on you. Okay? Nope. I was checking for uh, the door. Uh, the boarded up doors. I don't remember where they are. Hey, Cora. Hey there. Sometimes I feel like a. Uh, sometimes I like to look for spare change around the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is just laying around in cabinets and drawers. Um, okay. So I'm assuming she has no new dialogue. Let's go check to see if there's coffee in the vendor. In the vending machine. Uh, hot coffee! We can give that to Tony. Then he'll uh, hopefully be grumpy instead of angry. I know I'm avoiding going to help Winston right now, but... Uh, you need some glasses to protect me from blue light strain? You have eye strain? Dang, Brady. Take care of yourself. I got some on Amazon. They're really cheap. Um, I used to wear them, but I don't know if I'd really need them. Uh, although I do look at a screen, like, most of the day, because of work. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! 
Wait, is that coffee for me? Yeah. Oh, well, then, um, thanks. You give Tony the hot coffee. Hey, kid. My job? Are you serious? I'm a retired pilot. I used to run a business selling airplane parts. I even built my own plane. I haven't been up in ages, though. I hate everything now. Nothing tastes good anymore. But I used to like crab cakes, with real chunks of crab, not that fake stuff. Can I help you somehow? Help me? Kid, I don't think anyone can help me right now. Ha, you're not gonna leave until I give you something to do, eh? Okay then, you see that broken music box over there? You look like a budding engineer. See if you could fix it for me. That ought to keep the kid occupied long enough. Take the broken music box? Yes. Cool. Wow, that was... Maybe it doesn't mean a lot to him, because he just gave it over real quick. Oh, Core is missing. Where did she go? Oh, Gemma. I'm sorry about all of this. Poor Winston. Oh! What is it, Mom? While we're here, do you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? Good idea, Mom. I think she would. Let's do it. Oh, hey, you came back. It's good to see you again. What's new? Did you hear? Somebody stole Gemma's wedding ring. Gemma? Oh, Gemma is Winston's wife. I share a room with her. Isn't that awful, though? I mean, who would steal something like that from a woman in a coma? I'm beginning to think the thief isn't a very nice person after all. Oh, hey, you came back. It's good to see you again. I brought something. You brought me something? It isn't much, but I remember you collect marbles. You give this, the cat's eye marble to Sue. Ah, it's a cat planet! Cat planet? Oh, I really missed this one. It really looks like a cat's eye, doesn't it? That's because this planet has lots of cats. But there's a, there's, uh, but there's the surprising part. He, but here's the surprising part. It has lots of dogs, too. There's dogs living in there, too? Oh, yeah. People are always saying that cats and dogs can't get along. But that's just not true. People always think that if you're different, then it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like if you don't look the same, or if you don't have any money anymore. Even if that's not your fault, they treat you bad because you're different from them. I know what you mean. But Cat Planet is different. The cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. The cats and dogs make food together? Yeah! It's really good too, they have pink donuts and coconut bread. I love coconut bread. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Why do you keep snooping around our bathroom? Is there something cool in there? Can you keep a secret? I won't tell anyone. I think there might be a door down there, a special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Mortizora's Forest. I'm trying to wake up the guardian of the forest, so he'll grant me a wish. So you have a secret world- so you have secret worlds too! I do. Hmm. Well, the shift leader's in the bathroom now, so you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. Sue gave you laxatives! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sue gave you peanut choo-choos. Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. Sue's getting happier. A little bit. In the moment. You always wondered how to say Gemma when you played this game? Uh, I think some people might say Gemma, but I think most of the time I've heard it, it's Gemma. Quit bugging me, kid. I gotta figure out how to fix this wall. Man, they weren't kidding. This draft is chilly. Uh, offer a peanut choo-choo. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. You don't know how badly I was craving one of these. I love peanut choo-choos. I guess I can go take a fiver to eat this. I need to regain my energy if I'm going to be doing construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. <laughs> and with the axe in that hospital, the boy smashed the door down. Ooh, what a pretty ring. Uma? 
Oops, time for me to run. Uma, you jerk. Uma! Oh, so he runs into a dead end. Oh, it's a bear. What the heck, Tony? Get out of our crops! Stupid Leebles. I'm just looking for something I lost. I'll go wherever I want. Tony, don't be such a dick. Whoa, he can jump! Tony's got hops! Can you believe that, Tony? My poor turnips. He's destroying my garden. Someone needs to talk to that bear. He has such a bad attitude. This is the third time this week. I'm starting to get worried. I'd volunteer to talk to him, but Winston up there won't make us a boat to go to Tony's Island. Hey, you guys are... Hey, you guys are new around here. Maybe Winston would be willing to chill you out. Uh, help out. Help you out. Yeah. Will you talk to him for us? Ask him to make a boat. Winston? You don't know Winston? He's the guy standing over there by the tent. Please talk to him for us. It's a matter of life and death. Well, live and dead turnips. Live and dead turnips anyway. Okay, okay. Thank you! I mean, when you're trying to play a game and something the dialogue pops up and accidentally skip? Yeah. That happens to me a lot, unfortunately. I always kind of, like, rush through it. Excuse me, are you Winston? Yes, that's me. I haven't seen you around Morizora's Force before. Did you just move in? No, we're just visitors. Ah, I see. Do you need anything? Let's, let's ask, let's get to know him first. I don't want to just ask him favors when he doesn't know us. Who's Tony? Tony is a notoriously ill-tempered bear who lives alone on an island. From time to time, he'll get really angry and rampage throughout the village. But to tell you the truth, deep down, I don't think he's actually a cruel bear. Do you need, uh, do you need anything? Why do you live here? My wife, Gemma, has fallen into a coma and has been that way for some quite some time. She's currently inside the tent. For the most part, I feel that this area is a bit more peaceful than the bustling village to the west. And I want her to be as comfortable as possible. <sighs> Can you make us a boat? I'm sorry, but I no longer make boats. But we want to help you. If you build us a boat, we can sail to that island and try to talk some sense into that bear. You mean Tony? Yeah. You are indeed very brave. And he's been quite troublesome of late. But I'm sorry. I just can't. Do you need anything? Oh. Never mind. Huh. Uma! Ah, so we meet again. Why are you stealing again? I kept my promise. I didn't tell anyone you were staying in the hospital. But then you go and steal a lady's wedding ring who's in a coma. What's wrong with you? You don't understand. She asked me to bring it to her. Huh? What are you talking about? Why are you make making things up? No, she really... She really did ask me to bring her wedding ring. And I think she might need your help opening that box over there. Not so you can keep what's inside, mind you, but for Winston. You're not fooling me again, Uma. Now, if you excuse me, I have a wedding ring to deliver. Toodles! Oh! What? Why is there a door here? Uh, okay. The chest is locked. There's a tiny envelope here. Open it. Probably shouldn't read other people's mail, but... My dearest Gemma, I searched for days and was finally able to retrieve your ring. Perhaps once you regain consciousness, you can decide for yourself whether or not you still want to wear it. I also managed to find your box of belongings. I would have opened it and maintained its contents, though I have not found its key. I am so very sorry. Who's that from? Was that from Uma? It looks like she's fast asleep. Hmm. I should have explored outside first. Winston. Winston, is that you? Wait, am I in her dreams or something? Winston? Is somebody there? Hello? Why can't anybody hear me? Wait. 
Why am I in this room? Open the locker? Yes. The lo rusted shed, okay. E L S P A E 1. Let's put that in chat. P A E 1. Uh, E L S P A E 1. Okay. Huh. Control panel. Uh, let's not pull anything yet. Let's let's keep exploring. As it should be. This must be a dream. The door is locked. Door is locked. Uh, I better answer the phone. Did I need to get there in time? You have one new message. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Hmm. I have no idea what the password is yet. Guessing that would take forever. But I do. I've got ELSPAE1. Uh, let's pull lever three. We'll see what it did. Okay, so it didn't open the locker. It didn't open the door. Didn't open the cabinet. Didn't open anything. Do I need to... It's stuck, I can't turn it off. Oh! Oh, the, the boxes are gone. Is that me? Got the same shirt and the backpack in bed. Ooh, that sound. ACRMH5. Hmm. A variety of glass containers filled with multicolored fluids. This is uncomfortable. Can I weigh myself? No, oh, I guess that wasn't. Okay. I thought I heard the the clock ticking louder. When I went over to the right side, sorry. Beneath the cracked floor tile is a vertical pipe that is open at the top. A wooden key sits at the very bottom of the pipe. Take it? Yes. The key is just out of reach. Attention all hospital staff, floor restoration. Still dealing with rust after the flooding? Simply mix together hydrogen peroxide and cream of tartar to create a solution to remove rust from metallic objects. Oh, okay. So we're doing chemistry now. You found a wrench. Uh, upper shelf. This shelf contains a variety of different language books. Middle shelf. There is an assortment of workbooks, daily grammar, hangful practice, basic Korean phrases. It seems that someone has placed a key between two of the books. Take it? Yes. Found a small cabinet key. The cabinet is locked. Wait, is... Okay, I guess that's not the key for the bookshelf cabinet then. The shelves are lined with several years worth of medical journals. A single piece of stationary paper has been placed in between two of the journals. 
Read it? Yes. My last memory before it was taken from me. So, my. Uh, I'm just going to write that down. My is highlighted. A glass beaker. An old microscope. I wonder... Turn off the lights. Oh, turn on the lights. Got it. I always forget to do that. I did that in the... the... Wait, where are the lights? Open the cabinet? Yes. You used the small cabinet key. You found cream of tartar. Cool. You have a notebook with all your Rakuin notes? Nice. Uh, so I need hydrogen peroxide. Glass vials. Take one? Yes. And I'm gonna fill up the sink, just cause it's fun. There we go. There's the light. I started to write some of them down, but I forgot to keep it. Oh, here's the lights. Oh, got it. Gemma, come home. So home is in there. Am I in Winston's head? Or no, I'm in... Oops, sorry. There we go. I'm in Gemma's head. A glass beaker. Pour cream of tartar into the glass beaker? Yes. Old microscope. I need hydrogen peroxide. Uh, oh, geez. It's so bright. Okay. Oh, here it is. Mortar and pestle. Uh, but the hydrogen peroxide's in the middle. The sink appears to be broken. It looks as though something is stuck inside of the spout. Try removing it? Yes. You used the wrench to disassemble the faucet. You found a bookshelf cabinet key. Oh, nice. Open the locker. Locker's rusted shut. Okay. Unlock the bookshelf cabinet. You found a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Awesome. Oh, wait, it's right there. The beaker. Uh, yes. I created a solution. Take it with you? Yes. I used a glass vial to carry the solution. Uh, wooden key. Take it. Key is just out of reach. Okay, so I do need something to pick up the key. The wooden key. Um, what did I get? The solution. Okay, so we've got the locker here. You can now open the locker. You see a piece of paper that appears to be taken out of someone's journal. The paper is worn, but you can make out a few words. Read it? Yes. What's done is done. Is. What's done is done. That sounds ominous. You use the solution to remove the rust. You can now open the locker. You found an empty bucket. 
An empty bucket. What would I do with an empty bucket? Doors locked. Do I use it to get water? Okay, so now I have... Now I have water. Ah, uh, yeah, the bucket. Very important bucket. <laughs> I wonder what I do with it. Oh, a wooden key, because it'll float. You fill, you empty the filled bucket into the small pipe and the key floats to the top. You can now reach the wooden gate key. Oh. Did I get the gate wooden? Okay, yes I did. What next? I can do something else with the bucket? Can I water plants? Nope. <laughs> that's that's some that's a mood right there. Mortar and pestle. Multicolored liquids. Oh, I can fill another hole, can I? So let's turn on switch one. Or was it two? Yeah, two. And then we'll fill that hole. Oh, I can jump down. Oh no. The weight of the water is preventing you to be able to open the door. 24 seconds. This is scary. Optimal path. Ah! Can't walk through the water. Oh wait, it just made the water disappear now? Is there something in the pipe? Oh, oh, it turned off the water. I bet it was flowing in and filling up. Okay. Um... Okay, I was just checking to see if there was something in the bars or... In that path. Oh, it's an envoy. Let's check this pipe. Nothing. Man, I must have fallen a long way. Oh, door's locked. Oh, I must have locked on its way down. So, what do I need? What did What did I get out of that? I turned off water. Locker's empty. Yep, still can't guess the password. Can I flush the toilet? Nope. Fill the sink. And I've already got a full bucket. Okay. Water the plant. Okay. A healthy house plant. An ivy bag filled the solution. Fill the bucket. I'm just gonna turn everything off. Oh, the wooden gate key. That's funny. It's a metal it's a metal gate, so I didn't think to use the wooden gate key on the metal gate. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. 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 Two, one. No. Dang it. Frick. Can't move the boxes. Me three. Uh, 
A vase filled with cherry blossoms. A new microscope. Oh. Uh. So. One, three, five? Those are the numbers at the end of those uh, phrases. Hello. The door's locked. Open the locker, yes. A stack of newspaper clippings have been stapled together and taped in, taped to the inside of the locker. 15 March, 8 p.m. Though search parties continue amidst the wreckage, officials say that they will have a difficult time navigating the more severely... Okay, so it's torn. That must be um, Winston's wife got caught in the accident. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. For reporting and inquiries about missing persons, 022-221-2000. I'm just going to write that down. I probably don't have to. Oh, bucket. I've got one of those. ON4. I don't know why I'm putting stuff in chat and writing down and, you know, <laughs> on a piece of paper at the same time. I think I'm just spreading it out. Oh. Hello? Gemma? Do you remember your password? You really couldn't have chosen a more tragic day to meet him. By now, I'm sure it's as clear as, as the writing on the wall. Uh, yes. Meet two. probably the last bit, huh? An empty bucket. Pull the lever? Yes. A nearby door has opened. Uh, I want to search the upper shelf. People, 11,450. I hope that's not how many people died. I'm writing it down because it's it's uh, highlighted. 2nd of July. There are 20,000 Korean students in Japan and the number is increasing. And while tensions between Jan Japan and Korea are unlikely to disappear completely, we hope the two nations will continue to move towards friendship through such programs as the student exchange. What, uh, lower cabinet. The cabinet is empty. Okay. Is this a Korean game then? It does feel a little Japanese, but... I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not going to make that. A scrapbook filled with several event tickets, most too worn to read. The only legible ticket containing the words Korean Naval Port Festival. It's Japanese? Okay. Uh, Heaven Lit 6? Uh, unmarked blood samples. An old microscope. Uh, scrapbook. Okay, S. Uh, else pay meet me on ACRMH Heaven Lit. So then. Else Bay One Two Three I don't know what on is ACRMH One, two, three, five, heaven let. Six? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? That would be hilarious. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy room is now closed. Did I open both lockers? 
There are two boxes inside. First box. A postcard from Busan, Korea, and a small piece of paper labeled JR East Pass Limited Express. Recommended for travel to Aomori, Sendai, and Niigata. Niigata. Uh, a torn document detailing a student exchange program sponsored by the Korean government. Requirements for application. Korean students studying abroad in Japan will be given a monthly stipend and assistance with relocation costs. Cool. That's rather helpful. On is four. Yes. So the password is one, two, three, four, five. On is four. Okay. I was scrolled up. Thanks, Apple Pie. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Um, uh, meet me on 234. Oh, there's a letter. Hint, in case I lose my voicemail password, calendar to date I'm most looking for I'm looking forward to the most. Two oh seven? Is it July seventh? Or July second? No. So maybe if it's uh, meet me on, and then the last two digits are the date. Five, 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 oh, March. M-A-R-C-H, March. The numbers and the words were just the order of the sentence. Oh, okay. That was confusing because it it uh, it put it in order after I found them. <laughs> I didn't need the order. Maybe they had a different idea for the puzzle originally, and they just didn't remove the numbers. Um, what is heaven lit then? Eleventh, March eleventh. So it's three eleven. You have three messages. Gemma, where are you? We've been trying to get in touch with you all week. Haven't you been watching the news? I think you should come home, just to be safe. Anyway, please call me back. I'm really worried about you. Second message. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing and I understand, but it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. Call me back, okay? Please. Third message. Please bring Gemma to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy room this morning and we can get started with her first session. The uh, monoplace chamber has an air mass that will need to be set to 21%. This is a very important step in preventing oxygen toxicity. Dr. Yoshida and the team will be there to facilitate. Okay, so 21%, right? 21%. I'm going to write that down just in case. Oxygen toxicity is dangerous. So that makes sense. Oh, it's open now. Don't pull the third lever on or we'll all be underwater. Oh, which is what I did. And that's probably why I was filling with water.
Okay, so the highlighted words say, My home is underwater, people 11,450. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. Jamma, where are you? We're all, we're running out of time. Weird. Running. Out. Oh. That glass is not letting me do anything. Hyperbaric oxygen chamber control panel. Please input the patient, patient oxygen level. Oh, access denied. Zero, two, one. Model place air chamber air brake mask oxygen levels now set to twenty one percent. Oh, Gemma, I'm so glad to see you. Ugh, what a weird week it's been. I can't help but feel uncomfortable with all these Conco run, run, walking around. They've been here for three days. When are they going to leave? Oh, I don't really mind. It's fun when the Conco come to trade with us, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But still, you've heard about what the Kanko are like. They're no good. I'll be happy when they're gone. I don't trust the Conco. I wish they'd just leave already. The Conco don't belong here. I don't care what kind of goods they'll bring from across the Great River. It's of no use to me. Oh. oh, hey, Gemma. How have you been? Man, I love being able to trade with the Conco, but they're always part of me. There's always a part of me that can't wait until they leave our lands. Ah, oh, come on. Good morning, dear. How are you? How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the Conco traders brought this time. Hmm. Yes, well, please be careful, Gemma. The Conco labels may look diff may look like us, but inside they are very different. They aren't to be trusted. Of course, Elder. That's such an F thing to say. <laughs> Conco Carpenter. Would you believe that it took 500 Sela Berries to dye that cloth? I helped my mom dye it, and my hands were purple for weeks. Ha! <laughs> oh, um... Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers? I understand. Well, my name is Winston. I'm Gemma. Now we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? Oh, I love them. I have a garden at home I tend to every day. Now that we're not strangers anymore, I have a gift for you. Come with me. <laughs> a little early for that kind of stuff, but you know. Oh, I'm me again. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Jump down. Okay. I thought I could anticipate the song, but I can't. That's okay. I'll get to know it instead. Oh! I almost got distracted by the... The loot. Welcome back, money. You found the gate key. Is there a light I'm missing this time? <laughs> oh, here's the gate. Gemma, you made it. I was so worried about you. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come this way, they shouldn't be able to see us from here.
Have you ever heard of the Hikar Hikari Bana? No, I haven't. Hikari Bana is the name of the Konkoch tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Winston, they're so beautiful, and they're glowing. Every year, the Konko Luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch, and the Luna flies feed off the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the Luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the Luna flies that make the flowers glow? Yes, but the really special part is about to begin. The Luna flies and the Hikari Bana are actually very good friends, you know. What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the Luna flies help the Hikari Bana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, it's really true. As the flower floats through the air, the Luna flies' fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Gemma, look. seen anything like this in all my life. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Winston. I'm so glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh-oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. looks like someone's letter. Read it? Yes. Hi mom and dad, how are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people are nice, I'm getting good, raid, good grades. I sure miss the Korean food though. Did you know that at, at Korean restaurants here they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi, isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot and I'm sure you will too. Anyways, I'd, I'd better get going. Take care, I love you both. Winston. Of course I'm gonna fill the sink with water. Locker. 12th of March. Police had confirmed 14,000, uh, 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. Uh, page 2. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. It... It only took a few minutes for the 30-foot wave to wash the town away with terrifying terrifying force. A stack of newspaper... Oh. Is this? Um. Is this Fukushima? Is this about Fukushima? Was Winston a Korean exchange student in Japan? Uh, during Fukushima? Because the nuclear reactor got blown out of commission and it leaked like there was a, a reactor meltdown and it spread radiation all over the town uh, because of the tidal wave right maybe it wasn't a tidal wave but it was a storm dang water the plant it looks like the plant is still thirsty well I got a bucket. No, don't climb up. Go. There we go. Gotta fill my bucket before I go anywhere. A large toy bear with two heart shaped pink get well balloons. Winston, your mother and I have noticed that, well, you've been spending a lot of time with that Ilbo girl, Gemma. 
Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond. I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is a friend. Am I right? What do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded leavers. We know that trading with the Ilbo tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an Ilbo woman. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are lots of things in this world that you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. Do you even remember what the Ilbo did to us? To our people? What, they'll, what they show you, how different they are inside, and how they are inside, and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear, he needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. What did you say? Gemma is not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. You are no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as friends, not as anything. I'm going to Winston. I can't let them see me. Dang it. <sighs> this is real. <laughs> this isn't like a fantasy story. This is like real cultural relation, like social relations between Korea and Japan after the World War II. Like that was, this is intense. They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Afraid. <sighs> ah. Wait. Why did I turn into Dark Boy and go over there? Am I being affected by the negative feelings? Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. March 20th. I hope that help will arrive soon. My staff has been working 24-hour shifts just to keep things moving. Without electricity and without our medical supply and with our medical supplies dwindling, I fear the worst. But I will not give up hope. Oh. Urgent. Flooding has caused extensive damage to the basement and the first floors. Don't be a casualty of structural instability. Watch out. Door's locked. Dang it! The controls aren't that responsive and I was trying to wing it. Staff room break rotation updated. Will you still remember me when it's all over? Over? Oh, what can I do with the golem child doll? Oh, okay. I, I did something with it. Unmarked blood samples. Door's locked. Oh. You must turn on both of the door's light bulbs. There are two light bulbs near the door. The right is red, the left is green. Right, red, left, green. Okay, so there must be a... a... Oh, no! <sighs> Doll is fine? Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. I looked away. Dang it. Okay, I, I skipped past the look at the sign prompt, so. Open the locker. A weather journal lays by itself on the locker shelf. Read it. 
20th of March. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rate of about a centimeter per hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we've still lost 11 patients this week to harsh conditions. That's a nightmare. Climb down. Oh! Frick. Oh, okay. I tried to turn, but it didn't let me. Oh, I can actually swim or go underwater. What's over here? The current is too strong. Oh no! I uh, I I don't think I'm gonna make it. Five, four, three, two, one. Dang it! Can't breathe. Oh, what? And we swim and we fall. Hold my hand through it all. I thought I lost all that progress since I last save. Dang it, I didn't mean to save on the second. <sighs> Dang it. The door is locked. So I, I pressed the lever. Oh, everything's sepia tone now. Get out of here. Wait. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that was close. Door is locked. What else is there? Oh, there's the pump. Door's gone. Okay. So I really just gotta move forward. What? Where do I go then? Must have to be down here. The door is locked. Oh! Since I died, it must have turned off the switch. Dang it. I assumed... Oh, that's right, because I gamed over. So it wouldn't have done it again. Let's try that again. Which one do I go through? Right is red. Left is green. Table is covered with crisis management pamphlets and empty first aid kits. I ventured into the basement today. Much to my dismay, I found that we had lost far more supplies than I expected. At this rate, we'll have to relocate several of our patients, but I suppose. I fear that the transfer would be the death of many of them. Wow. Open the cabinet. There's a faded letter inside. Read it. I don't care what they say. I know in my heart that this is right. When I've saved up enough, I will return to the place where we first met and we could start a new life together away from all of this. Okay, so turning on the lamp must have done it. How long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets, we work 24-hour shifts, 
But unless we can receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. Dang. Oh. I'm down. Oh! That was close. Okay, so I'm assuming I can go back down now. Yeah. Why did I do that? I gotta reset it. Uh huh. And uh huh. And huh. There we go. Okay, that's the door. Oh, I didn't expect to be there. What's on the floor? Nothing. Oh! You're gonna have to move them. Why won't... Uh, you're gonna have to move them. They won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bullet bulletin boards for access codes. If the water doesn't reach the second floor, we should be okay. We'll hang on as long as we can. Go on now, before it's too... Attention hospital staff, urgent. Won't survive the night. Emergency exit code update, gate B1289. Uh, what is it, B1? One four eight zero. ACR. That actually, that was the number of people missing, wasn't it? Uh-oh. Passcode accepted. Yeah. Attention all staff, hospital urgent. Gate B2, 371. Winston of the Conco, Gemma of the Illwell, even though your families disapprove of your union, the heart of the forest has heard your pleas. Because your feelings for one another are pure and true, Morizora has allowed me to perform the ceremony of the envoy, that today in the forest you may be wed. Yay!
I'm so happy right now. I want nothing more in the world than to be here with you. Parting today would be the most difficult thing I've ever done. But I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through all the seasons once more, I will meet you on the River Isle and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Hurry, Gemma. You must go now before your family finds us. I love you. And I, you. Be safe, Gemma. But I promise you, Gemma, once we have walked through all the seasons once more, from spring until winter, I will meet you where we first met, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Neatly wrapped gifts. Is that spring? Uh, wouldn't it be winter first? Spring until winter. Oh, that's fall. Blood samples. We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Dang it, money. One. Two. Three. Thank you for helping me. All right, so spring. Is there an order? Sendai summer events, Tanabata star festival. Inside is a thin strip of brightly colored paper with some writing on it. Goshiki no Tanzak watashi ga kaita. Oshisama kira kira sora kara miteru. I hope you enjoy these camellia flowers. They're the, the only ones in my garden that bloom during the winter. The door is gone. Okay. Spring until winter. So spring is the first one. And then winter is the last one. I'm going to have to actually call it here, <laughs> unfortunately. I streamed way longer than I meant to, but this game is just going places. So, wow, <laughs> that was good. So much got done. Uh, we're Now we're helping out all of, well, not all. We've started helping out the hospital patients. Uh, Winston's the first one. And this game got really, really real. <laughs> like, the Liebels and the Konko versus the Ilbo. Like, that's Korean versus Japanese. Uh, which is real. Like, that's a real world, like, tension. I didn't expect it to, like, just be flat out direct about, you know... There must be a real story behind this. There must be a real couple that went through this. Um, yeah. Yeah, this game is kind of like blowing my expectations away. Like, I didn't expect it to be this real. It's already got real, like, situations and feelings, but now it's got, like, real world issues, too. So I'm excited to see where it goes. And, uh,. We'll have to see, we'll have to see where it goes next, so. 
Anyway, if you like this video, please uh, click like, click subscribe, bell for notifications, share the video, all the things that YouTube people say, do those things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really bad at that, but yeah, I, I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next episode and you have a good one. Bye-bye.